Hello folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. You know, homesteading, ranching, etc. It's a free lifestyle. It's a fun lifestyle. But I came across a bunch of gutters. Did a, took on a small job um, off of the homestead and uh, doing some steel roofing, etc. And took off all the aluminum gutters. Taking them in to the salvage yard or to the recycling center, whatever you want to call it, and see how much money this is worth. I'm guessing about a thousand pounds, but I'm a horrible guesser at weights. Now, when you are going to the recycle center, one thing that you really want to remember is don't bring home more than you took because you are going to find some good stuff there. One time I found some beautiful bolt bends from a big oil field company, brought them home. I paid like 50 cents a pound for them. Um, I mean, just, I think they cost me like $3 a piece and we're talking $140 bolt bends, heavy, heavy duty construction grade bolt bends. You can find some interesting stuff there uh, for sure. If you're driving older vehicles, sometimes you'll find complete part pickups there that you can pick up for scrap iron price. So it's excellent. You can recycle anything, folks. Pretty much anything. This fellow beside me, old sheep wire. We save brass, copper, aluminum, aluminum cans, iron, scrap iron. Um, working on vehicles, tie rods. I have got a really, really neat project coming up here. I'm gonna show you how to get um, steel price for uh, scrap iron, just regular scrap tin, if you will. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to pull up on the scale. This is true pretty much at every scrap yard. You pull up on their scale, they're going to give you a weight of your loaded weight. Then, after you get your loaded weight, they're going to tell you where to unload it. Um, they have everything kind of organized, doesn't look organized, but it is organized. Um, some will be for tin, some will be for iron, some will be for stainless steel, brass, copper, aluminum, etc. Um, it's all going to go on different piles. So pay attention to where they tell you to put um, the, whatever you're bringing in. The other thing is separate your load. This is a very, very important part of what we're doing here. Um, in my Quonset, if I have uh, stainless steel, I will keep a stainless steel bucket full of stainless steel, brass, whatever it may be. That way when I go in, I bring only that in and weigh it, and you can make a premium, a big premium Seat. on it. And check this out. My weight, everything on there, then you just scan this right there, and look what came out. Cash. Isn't that cool? That was just well, out. I'm a horrible, I'm a horrible at weights. It turned out it was 840 pounds at 25 cents a pound, which aluminum is quite a bit down. All commodities are down right now, and um, so that gave me a whopping 210 dollars, which is pretty cool. They just gave me a receipt and with a little barcode on it, and you just go stick it in this thing and cash pops out at you. You talk about green. Thank you folks for watching. We so appreciate hearing from you in the comments. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the kind words. Thank you for the encouragement. We do sell grass-fed organic beef. 100%. It is shipped to your door. Um, How are you doing? This is tender, tender grass-fed beef. It's probably like nothing you've ever had. Um, same omega-3s in it as in fish oil. This is Luke Simons, and until next time, may the Lord guide and keep you.